as a society, we're currently being, I mean, uh, uh, tsunamied by data everywhere. Everything is about data nowadays. And we are, I would say, completely out of control because the data is everywhere, but we don't have a clue where it is, who owns it, who's using it, and we're generating data per second more than we did in, in, in many decades before, basically. So I think it's getting more and more important to learn how to control the data, how, where it is, who owns it, and how to make sure you as an individual uh, get this insight as well. So what is Decode? I mean, for me, Decode is, I mean, probably the project has, for every partner, it has its own um, uh, reasons to, to join the consortium around Decode. But for me, it's showing that, that you can use data differently. I mean, as a city, we have an opinion about big companies, well, you know all them, uh, big social media companies, big platform companies, about how they use data and how they manage our data, basically, without involving us managing our own data. For me, Decode is um, two things. First of all, we don't only complain about companies who do it wrong. It's also about showing how we can do it right, basically. So I like more or less it's more constructive than saying, hey, this is wrong what you're doing. It's also showing what you can do in the right way. Secondly, it shows that this discussion is not about every city in itself, basically. Every city faces the same issue. Every citizen in Europe faces the same issues, basically. So this is something you well, ideally do on a scale that's bigger than just one city or one country. So uh, for me, DECOT is also organizing the European uh, population uh, jointly to solve these issues around data and to create data uh, 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 that's from us, controlled by us, and, and, and uh, get insight for us. I mean, for me, sharing data is one thing, but I mean, where it's being used for is a different thing, basically. I'm happy to give my uh, heartbeat. We have this app nowadays where you can donate your heartbeat for charity, basically, for, for the uh, uh, Heart Foundation in the Netherlands, because they use all these heart rates and they can learn about how a heart beats, basically. I'm happy to donate it to them uh, for purposes that are for research to make people better. The same data set, donating my heartbeat to my insurance company or to my employer, I'm not sure if I want to do that basically because probably they will take conclusions of my heartbeat that are used for a different purpose basically. So even, it's not about the data set, it's about who's using it for what purpose as well. Um, the Decode actually does this well, like I said, two things. First of all, it's very society or, or big company critic, critic on how they use data, how they manage data that's actually owned, should be owned by citizens basically. Not only showing that it's wrongly being done, but also showing how it's rightly being done. Secondly, I mean, it also shows that it's uh, 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 cities and uh, not countries or intermediate organizations, but local, on a local level, we actually can do something, basically. I would say Decode is a project in itself. I mean, it, 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 it's a demonstration to a certain extent. It shows how we can do stuff. But for us, it's actually to put stuff on the agenda and not only put it on the agenda, but also, hey, th these are the this is the way to go for us as a city, for city policies to bring in the European Commission, European policies. Well, I would say the new normal for a few more tech advanced cities in Europe. I mean, and the interesting thing is about when you think about this project and about Decode as well, it's, it's about, obviously it's about learning because we're doing stuff. So we pretend we know how it works basically, but it's also about learning. And I like the learning aspect of it as well. I mean, we're, we're about experimenting by doing. We're actually learning how to do this the right way. I mean, this is not a whiteboard exercise where we exactly can point out what are the five things to do. I mean. Uh, uh, the joint learning is very important as well, and we want to do it in a transparent and open uh, a way that everybody can see what we are learning, basically. So it's not a closed software proprietary in our little corner cities who are afraid to fail what they do, but transparent, open, and everybody can see what we are learning, basically. Probably make three, four mistakes, and then probably we have what we want to do.